Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. Today, we're going to be discussing something very different from the channel's normal content, and that is the controversial topic of Hermione Granger's ethnicity. Hermione Jean Granger was a muggle-born witch born on September 19, 1979. While not boarding at Hogwarts School, she resided at 8 Heathgate, Hampstead Garden Suburb, London, with her parents, Mr. and Mrs. Granger, a pair of lovely muggle dentists. Hermione had bright brown eyes, lots of bushy brown hair, once described as a long mane of brown hair, and, as a child, sported particularly large front teeth. While not in her Hogwarts robe, she was known to dress quite casually, and she is famous for her rather bossy voice that turns quite shrill in moments of anger. But perhaps the most notable characteristics of Hermione Granger are that she is extremely intelligent and very hardworking. These are facts. However, the one thing about her character that's always been left a little more ambiguous is her ethnicity. This subject has garnered a considerable amount of attention in more recent years, and is a topic of contention among Harry Potter fans. So, what is Hermione Granger's ethnicity? To some, the obvious answer is that Hermione is Caucasian. After all, that's how she was portrayed in the films. Emma Watson, who played Hermione, is white. It's as simple as that. However, the Harry Potter films certainly aren't the only visual representations of Harry Potter characters beyond the books, nor are they necessarily the standard. In The Cursed Child, for example, Hermione Granger is played by a black actress named Noma Dumezwani. It's also worth highlighting that there are numerous other examples of racial ambiguity among characters in the Harry Potter series. The best example is Lavender Brown, a fellow Gryffindor student that is known for developing a fleeting romance with her beloved One One. In The Chamber of Secrets, Lavender Brown is played by black actress Kathleen Cawley. Following that, she's played by another black actress, Jennifer Smith, who takes on the role in The Prisoner of Azkaban. However, by the time Half-Blood Prince came out, the role of Lavender Brown had been taken over by Caucasian actress Jessie Cave. Warner Bros. reasoning for this is that by the time the sixth film came out, it was time for Lavender's character to really blossom. She went from background character to front and center, and so they decided that they wanted a more established actress in the role. Because the previous portrayals of Lavender were so trivial in comparison, it's likely that they never properly assessed the acting abilities of Cawley or Smith. It's likely that the casting director just assigned the name Lavender Brown to the two previous actresses to keep track of the minor roles as the films progressed. Another example is Dean Thomas, a Gryffindor student who's described as having dark skin and black hair. He is said to have grown up in London, but the subject of his ethnicity is a bit confusing. In the US version of the Philosopher's Stone, it's specified that he's black, but this piece of information is not included in the original UK version. I think that this perfectly highlights the lack of emphasis and ambiguity surrounding race in Harry Potter. But provided that Hermione's ethnicity is so polarizing, with each side vehemently defending their own stance, I want to dig deeper and try to uncover some semblance of an answer here. Is Hermione white or black? One of the main arguments for Hermione being white stems from a quote in The Prisoner of Azkaban. The footsteps stopped. Harry heaved on the rope. Buckbeak snapped his beak and walked a little faster. Hermione's white face was sticking out from behind a tree. Harry, hurry, she mouthed. The focus here is on Hermione's white face, which, out of context, may be interpreted as a Caucasian or white face, but personally, I think it's quite obvious that the adjective white is being used here to describe Hermione in a state of fear, and is in no way any sort of a reference to her skin color. Referencing her skin color in this context would be completely out of place and unnecessary, and I think that white face is just used to emphasize the tension of the moment and how her skin would have turned pale from fear. Again, this is just an expression. Another passage from the books that could be interpreted as referencing Hermione's skin color comes from chapter 4 of The Prisoner of Azkaban. There they were, both of them, sitting outside Florian Fortescue's ice cream parlor, Ron looking incredibly freckly, Hermione very brown, both waving frantically at him. Here Hermione is described as very brown, but I think it's quite obvious, at least to me, 
that this passage merely refers to the fact that Hermione had gotten a tan over the course of the summer. JK Rowling is quite clearly, at least to me, describing the effects of a sunny summer on the pair, with Ron developing freckles and Hermione developing a tan. There are also a couple of passages across the books that reference Hermione's cheeks going pink, but again, it's extremely unlikely that this is any sort of an attempt at describing Hermione's skin colour. It's much more likely that Hermione going pink simply refers to her blushing, an involuntary reddening of the face due to embarrassment or stress. Given the nature of Hermione's character, it's not surprising that certain situations would cause her to blush. Another argument for Hermione's ethnicity is that her hair is described as bushy, potentially alluding to afro-textured hair. With that said, however, I do not personally view bushy as an adjective that is exclusive to the hair of any particular racial group. I think that all sorts of people can have bushy hair. Before we dive in any further, I've gotta say this. The supporting evidence for both sides of this argument are pretty dismal. Given that a passage pointing to Hermione's white face and an attempt at conflating bushy hair with race are the primary drivers behind each side's argument, I'd say we're in rough shape. So where does that leave us? Well, unfortunately, it leaves us with a whole bunch of contradictions. If we dive in deeper, another one of the arguments for Hermione being Caucasian is that JK Rowling based Hermione off of herself. In this sense, the character of Hermione was built off of an autobiographical framework. But here's the thing, yes, Hermione was based off of JK, but not to the extent that it has been extrapolated by some readers. The following quote clears this up somewhat. I did not set out to make Hermione like me, but she is a bit like me. She's an exaggeration of how I was when I was younger. And just because Hermione's personality is reminiscent of Rowling herself, it absolutely does not mean that she is somehow automatically Caucasian. Hermione is a bit like JK, and certainly not an extension of her that is identical in every way. Piecing together all of these sources of information at our disposal, passages from the books, book covers, actor portrayals, quotes from Rowling, here are the most compelling arguments for Hermione being Caucasian. The first argument is that Rowling, when discussing Hermione's casting, once explained that her only complaint was that Emma Watson was too pretty to be Hermione, and that otherwise she was perfect. This could imply that a Caucasian actress is what Rowling had in mind for Hermione all along. The next piece of evidence supporting that Hermione is Caucasian comes from an illustration published on JK Rowling's website in 2004. This illustration, drawn by Rowling herself, depicts an early draft of the Midnight Duel chapter, where we see Neville, Ron, Harry, Hermione, and Gary, later renamed to Dean Thomas. In this illustration, Dean clearly has darker skin than the rest of them, including Hermione. I think that we can reasonably deduce that this is what Rowling had originally envisioned when she was first inventing the characters, and provided that all of the other characters from this illustration somewhat match the actor that was eventually assigned to play them, it could suggest that Hermione was indeed meant to be Caucasian. However, all of this was contradicted by a tweet that Rowling published in 2015. Canon. Brown eyes, frizzy hair, and very clever. White skin was never specified. Rowling loves black Hermione. Given that book, Canon, is up to the discretion of the author, and that Rowling herself has left this very ambiguous, the final verdict on Hermione's ethnicity is that it is entirely up to reader interpretation, and I think that in many ways this was always her intention. By leaving descriptions of characters so ambiguous, it heightens the ability of every one of her readers to relate to them entirely in their own way. She is described as having brown eyes and bushy hair, but beyond that, the visual for Hermione is left entirely up to each reader's interpretation. If you were to give this vague criteria to 1,000 artists, you'd end up with 1,000 completely different outcomes. The change in Hermione's skin colour was, from my perspective, not an attempt at diversifying the series, but instead a nod to the fact that it doesn't really matter. And that's it for this video. If you enjoy the content, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, remember, differences of habit and language are nothing at all if our aims are identical and our hearts are open.